Have you ever wondered why blue is so scarce in nature? For instance, why are blue-colored animals so rare and uncommon? Why don't we have any blue horses, cats, or dogs? Well, to answer this question, we first need to understand why animals have the colors they currently possess and why they don't have other colors. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to delve into the intriguing question, why don't we have blue-colored animals? So, without further ado, let's dive right into the heart of the matter. According to a painter named Abbot Handerson Thayer in the 19th and early 20th centuries, it is nature that determines, for example, what color giraffes should be. And by determining their color, it turns them into predators or prey. If you pay attention to the colors of animals, you will notice that the parts of their bodies that receive more light are darker, while the parts that receive less light are lighter. For example, when a shark looks up, it sees the brightness of the water's surface, so the upper part of its body is darker. Conversely, when it looks down, it sees the darkness of the depths of the water, so the lower part of its body appears brighter. This way, when viewed from above, the darkness of the upper body combines with the darkness of the water's depths to camouflage it. And similarly, when viewed from below, the brightness of the lower body combines with the brightness of the water's surface to camouflage it. Of course, light is not the only thing that affects the color of animals. The color of animals depends on many factors, such as the genes of their ancestors, their habitat, and even their diet. Well, animals and even humans didn't have the colors we have from the beginning. Rather, they acquired them through our diet. For example, flamingos are born gray, but over time, due to the presence of pigments called carotenoids in the shrimp they feed on, they turn pink. But why is blue color so rare? The main reason why blue color is so rare in animals is that plants and foods that are blue colored lack blue pigment and are only perceived as blue. But how? Look at this butterfly. It's a morpho butterfly. If I ask you what color this butterfly is, you would say blue, but it's not actually blue. It's just perceived as blue. If we examine the wing of a butterfly under a microscope, we'll see that its color comes from tiny scales, and these scales contain pigments. The blue color you see is actually due to the structure of the scales on the wings of this butterfly, not the presence of blue pigments. If we zoom in on one of these scales, we can see its raised structure. To put it simply, the structure of the scales on the wings of this butterfly neutralizes other colors and only allows blue light to be reflected, making this butterfly appear blue without having blue pigments. But what about the blue jay bird? Well, this bird isn't actually blue either and lacks blue pigments. The microscopic structures on the bird's feathers, similar to those of the morpho butterfly, only reflect blue light. When we look at a morpho butterfly from different angles, we see that its blue color changes in intensity. This is because the structure of the butterfly's wings is highly regular. However, the structure of the blue jay bird's feathers, unlike the morpho, is much more irregular, so when we look at the blue jay from different angles, its color remains constant. But what about the peacock's blue feathers? Like the blue jay, the peacock's feathers also lack blue pigments but have a more regular structure so they can appear differently from certain angles. With these examples, we understand that the blue color in these animals is not due to the presence of blue pigments but rather because of their structural properties. Even blue eyes appear blue due to their structure, not because they contain blue pigments. 
Apart from marine animals, there is only one creature in the world with true blue pigment on its wings, the Obrina olive wing butterfly. This butterfly is extremely rare, and through evolution, it has developed the ability to produce blue pigments on its wings. Scientists believe that in the past, these butterflies acquired the ability to see the color blue, and through evolution and the structure of their wings, they eventually developed blue pigments and continue to evolve. But why do all other blue colors in animals and nature, except for the Obrina olive wing butterfly, come from structures rather than blue pigments? If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you haven't already liked it to hit the like button now. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic, so please leave a comment below. Furthermore, I'd be delighted to hear if there's a topic you'd like me to cover in future videos. Feel free to let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to address it. Thank you so much for joining me up to this point in the video, and until the next one, take care and stay tuned.